A short four giant question of the show, just piggybacking off the last question we threw Zach there. Should the Oilers re-sign Warren Fogle? Let me throw you this. Let's say Fogle's 3.5 million. All right. Okay, we'll go up from what we gave Zach. The three is. Yeah. Okay. What is better? Fogle at 3.5 or Kane at 5 point, oh, whatever. Fogle. Really? Fogle's 27. Hmm? He's coming into his prime days of his career. And I think I... one thing that is being maybe just thrown to the side a little bit is he's never played with dry saddle before and now those two have like great chemistry together and it's so obvious when they're away from each other like Mm -hmm. completely different players arguably both of them i think he makes dry saddle better and dry saddle obviously makes him better so yeah i would pay him i would honestly pay him i'd pay him upwards of four million that's the most i would go if he was like hey well i'll stay for four years for four million I think four is rich for me. I don't know. I, I'm to, not against mm, it. Like, I, it's four, a guy who doesn't play any power play and stuff like that, and I get it, but yep. I don't know. I wouldn't be totally against it. I, I really like Warren Fogle. Mm-hmm. I do, too. He's having a great year. He's changed my perspective on him totally. We'll see. Um, I, I know there's a bit of a worry because people like, this is his best year, and he's going into a contract. It's like, yes, but he's also still relatively young. Yep. I think he'll be solid. If you want, like, simple <laughs> cap math, if you can pull off, if you can pull off the cap dumps, take Kane's cap hit, mm-hmm. move it to a $5 million defenseman, take CeCe's cap hit, give it to Fogel. And he, maybe you I, get you yourself two fourth round picks in the process. You know, what? if you want to even keep going down that a little bit, you take uh, Cody CeCe's money, you move also Kulak as well, and just kind of give your third pairing defenseman a little bit less. It gives you more to give Fogel. And like other, I know these other guys don't yeah, yeah. but This team came back this year looking basically the same as it was last year. It will not look this way no, next season. I think there'll be big, yep. big, big changes. Daryl Sider, Fogel can disappear for 20, 30 games easy. Van uh, Kane. Van Kane hasn't scored in a month, and you were just talking about how he's a top six player. And at least with like, Fogel, the, the the efforts there. Yeah. Exactly. You know, I'm saying it quietly, but like I don't want to be that guy. But when Fogel's in the bottom six, he skates hard. Yeah, like he and Kane plays hard, and Kane we're, and Mulek said, "Don't judge him till the playoffs." Yes, hundred percent. Don't judge. I'm not judging Evander Kane till the playoffs. I believe he's going to be a big name play or a big playoff guy for them this year. I think so too. I think he'll get up for it. But it's also not okay to go away for twelve games and not score when you're supposed to be the scorer. And I actually think Evander Kane's been pretty good the last few games. Yeah, he hit the ball the other day. He had a great. I will give him credit. The Fogel. first time they put him on the third That's line, around. he clearly pouted. But he's he's bounced back he's, in a better attitude yeah, way, hundred sure. percent. And I, I think just, it's the time of year. I think he's a little bit more dialed in because he's a guy that obviously wants to help the team. I'm not trying to like yes, paint him out to be something he's sure. not. But there are times like to just say Fogel can disappear. You have to point out Evander Kane can disappear too. Yeah, I Kane has been shifted around too much. No chemistry. Fogel's been moved around too much. He's played with every center in the last three weeks. Yeah, there's the argument for those two is isn't one. I just don't see how we can be like, Fogel's disappeared when Kane hasn't done this. And now Fogel's thriving. Now we're like, well, why is Kane not getting minutes? Like, Let's just take it yeah. one step at a time. Kane's playing fine on the third line. I think that third line will come around. I mm-hmm. agree with what Zach said, that they need to give them maybe a week, uh, 10 days or so here to keep going. And then other than that, if that doesn't work, then that is what it is. What's up, Nation citizens? If you like that video, then you need to be subscribed to the Oilers Nation YouTube. Podcasts, live shows, exclusive interviews and analysis, everything you need from your favorite voices at Oilers Nation. And you don't want to miss any of it, so hammer that subscribe button.